favorite thing about food? Gosh, where do you even begin? I mean, it's without food, life as we know it would be impossible. I've been a vegan now for about 20 years. The best things about being a vegan, one, it's forced me to experience a lot of foods that otherwise I never would have experienced. It's made me a much more sort of like discerning and discriminating eater. You know, when I was 18 years old and my diet consisted of hamburgers and meatloaf and frosted flakes, nothing against frosted flakes, uh, I would get depressed more easily, I'd be lethargic, I'd be tired a lot. And I say being a vegan, like it gives you more energy and you feel more awake and you just feel more alert. Being a vegan on tour, the challenges are sort of geographically specific, you know. Like being a vegan on tour in Los Angeles is easy. Being a vegan on tour in Moscow is not so easy. Beijing might be a little tricky. If I'm going somewhere that is not going to be vegan friendly, I make sure that my managers contact them beforehand and make sure that the promoter knows what vegan is and arranges something. Veganism is funny because a lot of times you meet people who are unfamiliar with it and they approach it with a degree of ridicule. I was talking to a friend of mine who, who was ridiculing my vegan diet. Basically, he was, he was saying, like, what is there to eat if you're a vegan? I was like, okay, here's the thing. For the next month, you only eat animal products. And then tell me what's good about being a vegan. Because the only thing that makes animal products taste nice is the vegan component. If someone chooses to eat meat, that's their choice. You know, I've made my choice, and I ideally hope that people would respect it. So in turn, I feel like I have to respect other people's choices. One of the fantastic things about living in New York is we outsource things that would normally be done in-house. Like for example, I don't have a lot of storage space, but I have Whole Foods a block away. So Whole Foods and my deli are essentially my pantry. So if it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm making spaghetti and I need fresh basil, you walk 50 feet down the street. And here you just, you walk into the store and you can be a lot more, I think, uh, spontaneous. It's not very rock and roll talking about spontaneous food shopping, is it? You should be talking about like hookers and drugs.